Vayevaserosam, and he cut them, meaning Abraham cut the um, offerings and the animals of the Brisbane of Basari. Hinexiv ad shiafu achayom chulu al harivaser, it says in Shira Shirim, until the day is um, blown away, and um, I'm going to go, Elichli, Laramor, and so forth. I'm going to go um, to the Hari Vasar, to the mountains of Basar, whatever they are. And we're obviously being Dorish here that the mounts, mountains of Basar are uh, connected to Vayvasar or somehow Avraham cut the animals of the Brisbane Basarim. Pedish Rashi, Loshan, Chalukah, Falaga. Rashi means it's uh, a language of division and uh, uh, to, to place far, far away one from the other. That's Haflaga. So um, it, it's similar to saying, uh, like, I guess, the, uh, the Turi Pruda, the, the mountains of division, the mountains, or, you know, if you have an imagery of uh, you know, large crevices or gorges in, in, a, in a mountain and so forth, that could also be the imagery. Be Rabbos Shamluk over there in Medrash Rabba about this Pasuk. Bezor Chelek Alef, Vayetze, Kufnun Ches Alef Isa, Vechol Hani Ikrun Hare Besamim. So, in Zohar it says that all of these are called the mountains of Besamim. I guess it equates the different mountains that are mentioned in uh, Shirashirim that. Um, you have Haramor, Haribisamim, the, the mountain of myrrh, the mountain of spices. He says Haribasar, I guess it's also, they're all called mountains of spices. That it's Mikhanul Asate Ikrun Haribasar. No, it says above, the mountains above are called the mountains of spices. The mountains below are called Haribasa. They're called the, the, the mountains of division. The Chsiv, Misham Yipared, it says that from there they divide. Vahayal Arba Rashim, and um, from there there's four heads of the in that in that context, is referring to the the rivers that are coming from come out from Eden. But here, Tori uh, de Proda, we have the mountains of division in, in reference to mountains. Vechein hu beparshas breishis tafchas chavtes amad beis kemadas amnes, as it's written, Yashku kol chaisu sadai vegomer, that I'm going to. Uh, give uh, water to all the um, animals of the field. Vilain ikrun hari vaser, and these are called the mountains of division. Turi de proda. We parshas chukas daf kuf bealef and alef lebaser yashku kol chaisu sadai. It says afterwards, I'm going to. Uh, Water all the animals of the field. Like it says, and from there it divides. And it will be to the to four, to four heads, meaning to say there's an we're equating the concept of the rivers um, that spread out and water all the animals to the division of the concept of the mountains. The Dori Proda. That this refers to the four angels during Yitzira. That there in Yitzira you have Matat, who's called Shin Dalad Yud, which is the same spelling as Chaiso Sadai. That the, the concept of, of the field is the same letters as Hashem's name, Shindal Yud, which is gematria of the Malach Matat. And since in Yitzira we have the division of the four Chayos, therefore you have the division uh, that's hinted to by the four rivers and the mountains. Ubepardes and according to Ramak in Pardes, he talks about what does it mean 
the mountains of spices, Nikrakol, Sheish, Savos, Elyonos, that's what's called all six sides above. Hari Basse, they're called, I'm sorry, um, because each one is is pleased because the word mispasim to to be to be uh, spiced to be means to be uh, pleased one from the other and that's a, a language of yichud in, in in Kabbalah to be bisum is is a, a yichud and a, 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 a besima it can also be a, something pleasurable that you get you gain pleasure one from the other and the mountains of of spices are called spices because they're misbasim they they have pleasure they they gain benefit one from the other so to speak there's a yichud of the xavos elyonos you have a, a unity between the different supernal concepts vashesh besulus acharea nikra hari baser and then you have a concept of the the the, the six um, virgins, which is the concept uh, in the Pasuk, Sulus Yosef you have these virgins that are brought in front of the king, and so, so to speak, you have a concept of six of them, and uh, they are, so to speak, divided. There's no there's no unity there. They, they, they haven't been with anyone. There's no intimacy by a virgin. Why? Mitam ki misham alamata yipari, because from there and below, they divide, vim turi de pruda ad kanashono, therefore, we call them like mountains of division. This is all conceptual. And within the spiritual levels. Besulo sachrei are osea, and this concept of the versions after her, after the, in, 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 after the, um, in the beloved, Nikra, I'm sorry. It's brought, that's explained in Zohar. This also refers to angels, the four angels below Malchus. It explains uh, this Pasuk, as referring to the angels. Just like we were dorsh before, that um, this can refer to the chayos shabi Here we're referring to it as dalad chayos shetachas amalchus, which is a similar concept. Well, but although in tachas amalchus could also refer to in the olam habriah. And there you have it. So that he describes that uh, or the concept of the Hari Basar refers to either the, the rooms, the palaces of Bria or the dwelling places, so to speak, in the world of Yitzira. So the concept of Hichalos and Medurin is a different concept than the angels. Uh, so if you have, so to speak, uh, neshamos, which are like people, and uh, angels, which are like animals, and palaces, and a home, which is like the homes, and Merkava, which is like uh, ch or like a car, or a horse and chariot, and so forth, you have the whole concept of the world. So the halachalos and is, is is a different concept of to the to the angels. And look in another place how it's described, this concept of the palaces, which the point of them is to hide the godliness that creates that world. And therefore they're called almin, they're called worlds. Because the word almin means to hide. So you speak here, a creation of worlds is it hides the, the worlds above it, hides the concepts above it. Which is also a concept of division. Alamos, therefore, they're also called these young maidens uh, because they're, so to speak, hidden. They're autumn, they're closed, and they, so to speak, haven't been opened. Uh, and they're, they're still virginal. Ra'al shem, shehem nikrao, tori de proda, 
Ben or Rasi Shapir Shem Nikra Turi De Prada. And therefore it fits that they're called the mountains of separation. And so, you know, say it calls the the palaces uh Basra, so it's when it describes further in the Maori or it says Hari Basra refers to the, the palaces of the mountains of division. Because in the world of Bria, he is not one with the Kalim. Therefore, we call them, so to speak, mountains of division within the world of Bria, and that's the concept that he's saying, the Hechalos. I'm not, I don't know exactly how you connect the concept of Kalim to Hechalos, because the Chor of the Kalim are higher than the concept of, of Hechalos. But at any rate, it's a similar concept and, and within that same world. We can say that this is also the concept of the two cities of Betar, which is, I guess, from the Lashon, Basar and Yerushalayim, Yerushalayim, Malchus, Tatsilus, Betar, Mebichnes, Hechalos, Tabriya. Because Yerushalayim is, the, of course, represents Hashem's kingship in the world. It's Malchus of Atsilus, the the kingship of the emanator. Betar is the concept of the palaces of the world. It's outside Yerushalayim. It's where Bar Kokhva took his stand and so forth. So there's a concept of kingship of Hashem, but not within Yerushalayim. Shen Kimo Benos Yerushalayim. It's like, so to speak, when you, you say a, a city is, 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 is a, a, a daughter to another city, that's the Benos Yerushalayim, the um, outskirts, the uh, satellites of Yerushalayim, the daughters of Yerushalayim. So, it's a concept of more of division. So, and so too it says, in Shirashirim, that it's from the language of Basar, um, or whatever it means in that context. Maybe it means after. Just Basar also means after. Or maybe there is also Dorashid on Betar. The next Eve, now it's written, Adji Afu Achayom, Venasu Atzlalim. It says until the day uh, passes and the shadows run away. So turn dume dodi litzvi. Me my beloved, my beloved is compared to a deer. Al ofer hayalim al And the like upon the mountains of division. So it says, Mejashava, I'm not sure what Picha um, is, but um, it's upon these mountains of, of, of Basar. It's referring, he says that these mountains are referring to the Avos because of the um, stipulations the Tanoim that I made with Avraham in the Brisbane Bain of Asarim. So I made stipulations for the Avos.
Um, I'm not sure exactly what it's referring to. You'd have to look there. Vine be yakut sham bishema atan chuma visham perish samach bez perish sov dme lach dodi. It says, return, my beloved, is compared to Shakurish Barhu. That the Holy One Blessed Be He turns over the attribute of judgment to the attribute of mercy. And speeds up the redemption like a deer and, and a ram and so forth. So what does it mean so? What does it mean to turn? That you're compared to a tzvi means that you're returning the attribute of judgment to mercy and I'm comparing you to the swiftness of a deer in bringing the redemption. And this is on Hari Basar. So I, I guess the Bishma Bina is 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 part of the promise of Hashem about the redemption. Um Uh, now, the concept is that our sages said, Galu le'edam, le'elam shechina imam, that when we were exiled to Elam, meaning uh, Persia and so forth, we the divine presence went with us. Like it says, I will place my throne in Elam. Yirmiya sofsim in memtes. That uh, Shushan Abira was in Elam. Shushan Abira should be Elam Medina. We shall meet Perakama the Tainis, Sov, Lacha Aleph, Amru Tani, Abishimim Bayochai, Behol Makum Shigal Israel, Kolsa Ashkina Imahem Hulu. That Abishimim Bayochai says in Yoshalmi Tainis that any place that Israel was exiled, the Shina was exiled with them. Kalu Le Madai Hulu, they were exiled to Madai and so forth. It, then it brings that pasuk that I'm going to place my throne in Elam. Vechinu berabos seder bo parshat ezvav b'emtsa parshat davkuf lamralav beis davar acher v'yomer havai al Moshe v'el Aaron beretz mitzrayim lemor. It's what it says in Medrash Shaba bo that Hashem says to Moshe and Aaron in the land of Egypt to say, what, what, is, is it, what is the Kodesh Baruch Hu going to do in, in Egypt? Ayn Shem, look over there. The Parshas Naso, Sof Parshas Zayin, Rish Kavtal Adal, Rebbe Eicha, Sof Pasuk Karasi Lama Havai. Look what it says, in Eicha, I'm going to call to my beloved. So I guess it also... Uh, it refers to this concept of the Shechina with them in Golas Mitzrayim. Vayin or Berabas Esther so Pashas Vayi Bimei Pasuk Pasuk Vayi Bimei Achashvirush Bikamara Pekamad the Megillah Daf Yudsof Amad Beis Minyan V'Sam Tikisi Beilam Vayin Kamoshkas Bishush and Abira Shabeina Beilam Amedina. So he brings that pasuk as well. That Shushan is an Elam uh, connected with Esther. That um, Kadosh Baruch Hu was the Shechina was with us. When we were in exile under Achashverosh, the Imkin Hayab is man Achashverosh. He slaps his Ashkina Bishush and Abira Lefish. The Knesset Israel Kibla Shefa. I the Usu Asar Shel Madai. If so, in the times of Achashverosh, you had the enclosement of the Shechina in Shushan, the capital, because the souls of Israel 
they received the flow through the ministering angel of uh, Madai. The Indian Shushan, Malashan Shushan, Emek Ayuma, and that's the Shushan is from the language of a rose, like like we say on Yom Kippur. Um, the Chazan says before um, the Tefillah, the um, rose that's in the awesome valley, which is the concept of like a rose amongst the thorns. So too. When Israel is amongst the nations in exile, we are, so to speak, the rose amongst the thorns. That's the concept of Shushan. That's what it represents. Here, in Shushana, is the Sacher in the Shushana. 